Hi, I'm Brian Garner. Welcome back to Speedball's how-to series on screen printing. So after that's mixed up, you're gonna get your squeegee from your uh, kit, and you're gonna use that to pull a very thin bead of photo emulsion across your screen. And uh, we're gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna open this bottle, and I like to have a couple things handy before I do that. One is maybe a stiff piece of uh, mat board or card stock, and that will enable you to kind of clean up any excess photo emulsion. The key is to try to keep everything nice and lean. You don't want to put too much emulsion on there because it just won't be um, a successful project if it's too thick. So um, you can see what I'm going to do is put a thin bead on the screen. You can see I'm doing it on the substrate side. I want to make sure I have enough that I can try to get this in one pull. And you can see I'm lifting up this screen and I like to get it maybe like a 45 degree angle as well as this squeegee. And I'm gonna pull and coat that screen. I'm gonna lift this squeegee up and lean it against that. And I'm gonna get this card stock and actually bring any kind of excess emulsion. I'm gonna kinda go around and I'm gonna get some excess off on that paper towel. And you can see I just don't want a lot of puddles uh, on my screen. Um, if you can, try to save some of this emulsion because it does go a long way and you don't want to trash it. Um, what I'm going to do is take this card stock and actually come back across briskly with a little bit of pressure. And I want to turn the screen over and now I want to coat it again. And what I'm doing is really just getting excess emulsion off of this screen. You have a little bit of play time here, so don't be in too much of a hurry. Um, and we want to make sure that there's just not a lot of emulsion on there. Meaning that if it looks really kind of watery or glossy, you want to make sure that that is squeegeed off your screen. And now it's ready to be dry. And what I would recommend that you actually take your screen and put it in a cupboard um, underneath your bathroom sink um, in an oven that's not on and uh, in a dark place that the screen and the emulsion are actually gonna dry um, in, a, uh, in a dark place. Uh, when it is completely dry, you're ready to expose. And what are you going to expose? Um, in this instance, we have our artwork, which has been printed uh, via inkjet on a transparency. And we look at this transparency and we realize that it is nice and dark, meaning that if it was sort of gray or printed in another color, it will not be strong enough to withstand the light that we are going to expose the screen with. So make sure your film um, is completely dense and black, and you're gonna have much more success doing that. So after you get your artwork ready, um, my screen is just wrapped up in a black t-shirt to keep it away from any kind of light. And just to reiterate, you can coat your screen in ambient light, but you want it to dry in a dark space. After it is dry, I'd roughly give it maybe an hour, hour and a half to make sure it's entirely cured and dry. So one great resource is the Speedball um, screen printing booklet that has all the instructions for all three of these processes. So if you have a question, please refer to those. They have great images and really easy, simple directions. And within this pamphlet, you'll see that there is a guideline depending how big your screen is, how far away your light should be from your screen when you expose it. So it could be low or it could be very high. In this instance, we are using a, uh, a 10 by 14 inch screen and that dedicated area is roughly anywhere from 14 to 16 inches, should be the edge of your bulb to your screen. We'll continue the process in the next video.